and welcome back to my channel my name's Katie it's so nice to meet you today I just wanted to do a get ready with me uh, just my makeup and my hair today is Sunday the 27th of March which means Mother's Day so I'd just like to say happy Mother's Day to all you mums out there whether you're stepmum mum to be or a nan you're all truly loved and I hope you have a wonderful day so I've already had a shower, I've washed my hair, moisturised and done all my skincare um, so I just thought i will do my makeup and my hair on camera so like I said, I've washed my hair, I've deep conditioned it I'm just going to take some of the coconut oil and spritz a little bit in my hand rub it in and just put that through the ends of my hair and also a little bit on the top. I just put this in wet hair because otherwise I find if I put it in my hair dry it kind of makes my hair look really really greasy whereas when I put it in when it's wet it kind of gives it a really nice shine once it is dry. I'm just going to pop my headband on. Oh, There we go. So like I said I've already moisturised my skin. I've done all my skincare for this morning. Um, I've got a mirror just behind you and also a mirror here so if I keep looking behind or down it's because I'm looking in the mirror so I'm just going to take some of the Maybelline Fit Me concealer I'm just going to pop it on my eyelids just a little bit just to prime and make a base and then I'm just going to pat that in with my finger Please excuse my nails, they are actual stay, I'm getting them redone tomorrow. Um, one's come off and they are really outgrown, um, so I will get them done tomorrow when I have some free time. So I'm just going to take this nude eyeshadow palette, and believe it or not I got this in a pound shop, um, it was £8, it wasn't a pound. Um, but it is actually really good. The only downfall is obviously it has a lot of pigment uh, fallout. But obviously that's... You get what you pay for I suppose. But it does come with some really nice colours in here. So it looks just like this. Really, really nice colours and um, a range of colours. Just going to take uh, my Real Techniques brush. And I'm going to dip into sort of this warmer shade here I feel like doing sort of a, like a little bit of a sparkly look today um, just because I feel like making a little bit of an effort I don't wear eyeshadow on a daily basis um, I'm just going to pat this in so it looks like this um, I should say really I'm no way a makeup artist this is just how I like to do things so I'm not obviously some things ain't gonna look brilliant um, but it's just how I like to do it so I just pat that in all over the lid like this I'll then take the other side where it has no product on and then I will just go over to take off any excess and pat that in as well like that so now I've done that as you can see I don't know if you can see no it's not too bad today actually but there is quite a bit of fallout so I will just take a brush and just wipe that off this brush here so it's just autograph brush is just cheap um, and I'm going to take this big fluffy one at the end and I'm going to go in with sort of this purpley colour, actually I don't know whether to do a sort of rose gold colour or this purpley glittery colour just to do the outer corner, um, I'm not sure actually what will look, because this is quite dark so I think I'm going to take the dark purple glitter and I'm just going to go in the outer corner into the crease and just kind of pat and swipe that on So 
So I changed my mind with the eye eyeshadow. I have taken it off. I thought just quite a lot just for a, sort of a subtly day, I suppose. I would wear normally that if I was going out. So I did change my mind in the end. So instead I'm going to take this sort of beige nudie colour here to put all over my lid. For that I'm just going to take the other side of this brush and I'm going to pat that over my lid instead. It's just more of a nude neutral colour but it doesn't stand out so much. It's quite a nice colour, sandy colour actually. Now I'm just going to do the same on the other side. Like that. I'm going to take this little pink brush here and I'm going to go in with this really light glitter. I'm just going to pop that here. Okay, so my eye eyeshadow's done. Obviously, it does look brilliant at the moment, but I will tidy it up. Then, going to take just a big fluffy brush, and I'm just gonna wipe away the excess, like so. Okay, so that's my eyeshadow done. I will do my eyeliner and everything last, just in case I muck it up a little bit. To be honest. Um, I do need some more foundation, but for today, I am going to mix Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. I'm going to mix the shade 100 Warm Ivory with 118 Nude. So I'm going to mix these both together, just because 100 is too light for me, but then 118 is a little bit too dark. I'm going to take my Beauty Blender, I'm just going to get the darker shade first and dab that around like that and then I'll also dab the lighter shade on as well like that and then I'm just going to dab that in so I'm not going to swipe I'm just going to dab it in a dabbing motion around so I like to start off on the outer edge of my face and then work inwards and then if there's any excess product then I'll just take it in rather than having a line around my neck so I do look really pale with it actually on camera but in person it's not that pale good they're not expensive either they're really affordable um, but the coverage is really good there we go so I feel like it's mixed really well but I still look quite pale so I'm just again going to go in with some of the darker shade and just dab a couple of little bits of that around just to darken it up a little bit. So on this foundation, I believe it's medium to full coverage. Mm -hmm. For normal to oily skin. And I believe it is a medium coverage, but you can obviously build it up to a more full coverage by adding a little bit more with some concealer and powder just go over my ears then I'm just going to put a little bit on my forehead as well I like a really dewy look um, so I like it to look quite wet I don't really particularly like the really matte look although it is quite nice on a night out but because I have oily skin 
it doesn't last very long. Right. So that's my foundation done. If you can see. I am then going to go back in with my Maybelline Fit Me concealer. And I'm just going to go just a little bit under my eyes like that. And then again on the other side. And then I'm also going to take a little bit on my chin, on my cupid's bow, and a little bit down my nose. Like that. And I'll just let that sit for a minute or two because I find it does, if you let it concealer sit it does go more full coverage I find obviously depending on the concealer you have a really good concealer to have is actually the collection concealer it's really really cheap and affordable but the coverage on it is really good I don't have any of that because I have run out that's it I'm just gonna go in my beauty blender again and just dab that in um, if you can see it does really do a full coverage and I'm just going to dab under my eye as well and down my nose and on the bridge like so like this I'm just going to take a wipe and I'm just going to wipe off the foundation off of my lips because it does make your lips go really dry. And that is done. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do, so I like to do my eyebrows after I've cream contoured. For cream contour, I like to use the L'Oreal Paris Inflammable Long Wear Shaping Stick. Uh, they used to sell this in Boots and Super Drug and things, but I don't think they stock it anymore. But you can get it on Amazon. I am running out. So I'm just going to put a little bit on my forehead here, on the other side. And then for my cheeks, I like to go just quite high up, put a little bit there, and then also on the other side as well. And I'm just going to take it down my nose. Like this. And then again going back in with my beauty blender I'm just going to dab that out but dabbing upwards so to almost hopefully lift my face and then I also like to make sure it's in my temples as well I've got a hair on me somewhere ah. same with my cheeks I like to make sure it stays upwards rather than down because if I put it dab it downwards it's going to drag my face down like that and then I'll just do my nose as well yeah I don't know how for some reason I'm coming up really pale on the camera um, I'm not that pale in real life um, so I've contoured, I've concealed, I've done my eyes, I've done my base. What I'm going to do now is my eyebrows. For my eyebrows, I like to use the where are you? The NYX Professional Micro Brow Pencil. Looks just like this. You can get that this in Boots and Superdrug, and also on Amazon. So I like to take the spoolie. And I'll just brush my eyebrows up and out just to tidy them up. Like this. And then also on the other side. So I still prefer my eyebrows to be sort of the... 2019 trend if that makes sense so I like them dark to light I not too keen on the fluffy brow look where you brush them up and then you set them there because my eyebrows aren't thick enough for that because I over plucked when I was younger so I like to do it this way so I just put the pencil up just a very small amount 
and then I start from my outer outer edge of my eyebrow and then I work inwards so I start on the tail and then I just do really light really light brush strokes like this and I also like to have quite a long tail as well on my eyebrow with an arch there we go so that's the outer wing done and then I'm just going to work inwards and go upwards with really light strokes getting softer and softer as I get to the inner part of my eyebrow and that is my eyebrows done so it just look like this so I really like my eyebrows like this. I know everyone has their own preference, but this is how I like to do them. So now I've done that, I'm just going to go in with the NYX Epic Ink Liner pen. So it just looks like this on the end. Is it focusing? There we go. And then I'm just going to try and lift my eyes up at, at the outer corners. Just lift them up a little bit. And I have done my eyeliner now. So as you can see, I've done it really thin on the inner corner. And then I've just gone outwards um, to sort of lift my eyes. So I've done that. I'm now going to take Hula Bronzer with my... Real Techniques big fluffy brush so this is all broken I do need a new one at some point so I'm just gonna tap off the excess and then I'm just gonna dab it just in my temples and then from the high part of my cheekbones up again just to lift my face and then take it a little bit onto my forehead like this and then I'll just do the same on the other side and then I'll just dab it along my jawline as well for mascara I have two mascaras that I like to use I have the false lash queen mascara from Primark this one's really good and I also have the iLust W7 mascara as well this one's also quite good the W7 mascara and then I for mascara I like to work from the outer part of my lash inwards because I don't like to go all the way in just to sort of give it a false eyelash look like so and then see it just like lifts my eye out in the outer corner and just makes it look more long I really really like that look and then I'm just going to do the same on the other side like so so I do like to just put a little bit of blush on I don't like to use a whole lot I'm just going to use the Benefit blusher and I'm just going to take my Real Techniques blush brush. I'm just going to dab that in softly. Tap off the excess. And then I'm just going to put it quite high up. And just dab that on. Like this. Then I will do the same on the other side. Tap it off. And then just go up. Like so. That is my makeup done. I'm now going to do my hair. So to do my hair, I'm going to use my Dyson Air Wrap. Um, I have got that quite recently, so I'm still getting used to it. I've only used it once or twice before. Um, my hair has been washed. I've put my oil in it. It is about 90% dry now. Um, so I'm just going to, what I'm going to do, I don't know whether to do a big blowout. Um... So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to use the brush and I'm just going to dry and straighten and brush through the top parts of my hair. And then I might do some waves or soft curls 
on the lower ends. But to do my hair, I will pop you on a time lapse. And I'll see you, speak to you after I've done my hair. Okay, I am ready. My hair is all done. I am obsessed with the Dyson Airwrap. I cannot tell you. I'm so happy of how it turned out. So it's like just, it's like a big, just blowout really. I absolutely love it. Um, I'll show you what I'm wearing today. So today I am just wearing some white tracksuit bottoms. These are super soft, they're from Primark. I'm wearing a new top and a long gray cardigan. Yeah, please like and subscribe, it would mean a lot. And I'll see you in my next video, bye. <laughs>